Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 11 and it's called Number Selection. In this challenge we're going to ask the user to input two numbers and if the numbers are the same then display the message the two numbers are equal. The extension task is to modify this program to display the following messages as appropriate. If the first number is greater than the second then we want to say the first number is greater than the second and likewise the same thing if it's the other way around. I strongly suggest that you guys do try the extension task today as the challenge itself is quite easy and if you've done the previous challenge then uh, it should be a walk in the park for you. If you want to try this challenge yourself then hit that pause button now. Okay, so let's begin. So we'll start off by asking the user to enter in a number. And then we'll store that in an integer called first number. So if I actually, um, let's convert that to an int 32. Right off the bat. And then we can ask them for a second number. I'm just going to copy and paste that because I am a super lazy person. Uh, second number. Cool. Let's just do that in there. Okay, so should be fairly straightforward. If first number equals second number, then we can say the two numbers are equal and then we'll just put an else in there to say um, the two numbers are not equal uh, this wasn't part of the challenge but I like to add that in because uh, it just makes a bit more sense for the application itself um, okay so if I run that ask me to enter in a number I'm going to put five. Enter in another number. Enter another number. Two numbers are not equal. That didn't work. Oh, my bad. I put read instead of read line. Okay. Um, that's my bad. Let's run that again. Oh, this happens when you're writing code. So not to worry. Let's see if it works this time. Five. Enter in another number. Five. The two numbers are equal. Okay, cool. So let's try um, entering two numbers that are not the same. I'm going to say 10 and then 100, uh, 10,000. The two numbers are not equal. There we go. Okay, so um, let's move on to the extension task, which should be a little bit more interesting. So what we can do is um, start off by removing this else statement what we are what we're going to have instead is an else if to check that the first number is greater than the second number and if it is then we can say first greater second and then we could either do an else if at the end, but um, since we're not working with uh, negative numbers or trying to do any validation whatsoever on this application, we're just going to assume that these are whole numbers and any other possibility that could happen here is that the second number is greater than the first number. So we can say second number is first there we go so if I run that enter in a number let's say I type in 10 enter in another another number 5 the first number is greater than the second let's do that again enter in a number 8 enter in another number uh, 50 second number is greater than the first and if we run that one last time to just say um, the same number. Two numbers are equal. There you go. I hope you guys had fun with this one. Let me know how you guys got on in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, then hit that thumbs up button. And as always, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.